Let's define the fees. The word fee or tuition fee or college fee in other country means only a tuition fee. Living expenses are always separate. Wherein the word fee, college fee or college fee in Switzerland means it's an inclusive package and hence it definitely includes your tuitions, three times food, accommodation, health insurance, books, examination fee, excursions, picnics, etc. Et so the word fee differs from each other in these two uh, regions of the destination. When you talk about the comparison of this fee, it would be unfair to compare Swiss fee with a University of Canada, Australia because that's only a tuition, wherein here we talk about the complete package. Second thing, let's compare the figures. When you talk about the fee, uh, the only tuition fee in Australia, Canada, New Zealand and a good university would cost you uh, anywhere between 14 to 20 lakhs per annum and that's only the tuitions. Wherein you compare the fees of Switzerland, it's always a package of around 18 lakhs to 24 lakhs per annum and mind you it's a complete package so it includes food accommodation etc. So when you compare these two fees it would be unfair to compare the tuitions with the complete package and that's why you may see Switzerland is uh, a little expensive but it's not because it includes all the expenses. When you compare on tuition fee of these countries and when you add the living expenses to that tuition fee then the total package of that or those countries would be equivalent to what otherwise you are paying to Switzerland. Hence with this example we understand that Swiss is not expensive or maybe at equivalent price level than of other countries. Third point which makes Switzerland a little bit more lucrative in terms of fees or middle more reasonable is the return on investment. The ROI is not there in other countries. In fact, when you are allowed to work part time in other countries, you are not guaranteed of part time. You may or may not get the part time throughout the year and the part time earning would be just enough to pay for your living expenses. Wherein when you talk about ROI in Switzerland, each year mostly will have six months of study and six months of paid internship with a minimum guaranteed salary of approximately equivalent Indian rupees 1,45,000 per month. Hence, if you compare this internship earning for six months, it gives you a good saving of around eight to nine lakhs gross earning and around six to seven lakhs net, net earning. So if you minus this earning out of your total investment of Switzerland 18 to 23 lakhs you are actually investing 14 to 17 lakhs per annum which is exactly equivalent to what you pay for tuitions only in other countries or maybe in some cases it would be lesser than the other countries or the universities.